we can handle this issue. Uh, this is an important problem uh, that needs to be solved. Software quality depends on the right management of licenses. So at Delta Link, we see three approaches. We see a manual approach, uh, in which you do everything manually. We see a tool-based reactive approach, in which you produce your thing, and then you evaluate what you have, and you seek for license issues. And we see a tool-based proactive approach, in which you take a more zen-like posture, and you evaluate everything as, as you go through your development process. So let me talk to you about the, the, first, the first approach, the manual one. So in the manual approach, you keep manual tracking of every component. So you go there, you open up your product, and whatever, in whatever phase you want, when the code is written or when, when you have actually delivered the product. And then you go and you make a list of the different components, you annotate the versions, etc. You can do that with a programmer uh, in a digital spreadsheet, etc. And uh, then you maintain, you maintain a, a list of those licenses and you check for each component its license and its compatibility. And you go step by step, component by component. And you do that iteratively. Uh, and finally, you will have done your license checking process. Very straightforward, very simple. Uh, so however, there is a little problem there. This doesn't scale. And it is too time consuming. You will spend most of your time tracking license issues, tracking components instead of doing the actual work. So this is not quite an effective approach. A much better solution is a reactive tool supported approach in which you basically, you build your software like you regularly do, you develop, you go to the software factory and finally you ship your product. However, uh, at some point there, you, when you have your product ready, you go to someone else that has this magical machine capable of detecting open source and doing diagnosis in your software packages. Uh, you give that to that person, that person passes through the machine, and <coughs> generate a list of different components and license, and probably will advise you about different license compatibility, and it will change, charge you a lot of money for uh, so this is the, the more reactive approach and it's the pervasive <coughs> approach today. So what's the issue there? It's that you are building your software, you are developing your software, you are passing through your, all your software factory, you are executing your tests, etc., etc. You are continuous integration, you are delivering your product, and just before you release your product, it goes straight to this magical man that analyzes the thing produced that component list, and it shipped that component list back to executive and developers, executive decided, that, or, or uh, lawyers decided that some licenses are not compliant, developers uh, get a little rusty about that, change some components, replace some components, uh, the whole process goes again, they ship their product, the database, they're uh, assuming that they're using database, get updated, they pass the product again, uh, they detect new licenses that uh, 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 impose a threat on your organization and they regenerate this list and they go back again to the developers and this process continues until that magical man decides that everything there is safe. So, as you can see, the problem here is that you already build your software several times. Uh, so you spend a lot of time actually replacing code uh, that you should be knowing bef beforehand and getting aware of those nasty license problems. Uh, so this is the, where, where the alternative approach appears. Uh, this is an alternative uh, proactive approach. Uh, what you do is you build your software as you typically do. You don't change almost nothing. However, iteratively, uh, during that development process, you execute this uh, send like tool, you execute these proactive tools, and that tool, when the developers are coding, generates a report and tell you what open source you have there, if you have license violation or not, and it goes to the next step on the software factory, and then this tool executes and tells you whether you have open source there, what's the nature of that open source, 
et cetera, et cetera. And finally, you get to ship your product and you perform the final check. And if that check is fine, you are, you're ready to ship your product. Everything is fine. Uh, the deck is clear, Captain. So you can do that in different ways. For example, you can analyze your Git repo in the case we're using Git or another source control version, version system. Uh, for example, your developers push some changes there. Uh, these magical proactive tools start working and delivers a report to the, back to the developers whether they are including open source that may uh, impose a threat or not to their organization and their code. And if they are capable of finding that early on, they can change that, that component or they can change that code snippet that it is problematic uh, without going through the whole step of compiling, uh, executing tests, and, and all the other things related to the development process. This can be executed, for example, <coughs> even in your IDE. Develop, when developers code, you can have some magical proactive tool scanning the code, scanning the dependencies, and telling you whether you use a license or not, and raising notifications and alerts when you have a license violation. Now, the, the whole benefits that we are telling see here is that you empower uh, everyone to comply with license. Everyone in your whole development life cycle uh, is responsible for that fact, complying with license, uh, improving the quality of the software. It's not just one person problem, it's the whole team that is implicated out there. And as I like to say, it's like bug detection, early is better. The early you identify your bugs, the early you can correct them, and the smaller is the correction cost. It's the same with licenses. If you catch them, the, the license issues while you are coding, then you can save a lot of money because you don't go through the older steps in the process. So what, what is the message that I want you to retain for here is that prevention is better than correction. You need to prevent having license issues instead of correcting them. Uh, 